hello and thank you for watching this video so today I will show you how you can how you will be able to import products in bulk from eBay to your store WooCommerce store so in the last video I showed I have shown you how you can import a single product one single product from eBay to your WooCommerce for free and in one click so to do this you will need to install uh, this plugin called the shark product importer for ebay and woocommerce dropshipping you can recognize it easily by this logo here so i have already downloaded the plugin so you can either choose the free plugin which allow to import products for free like you have specific amount or you can buy a license and then you will have unlimited import you can visit our website for more details it's WooShark website and then you can go to eBay and you will see all the details so just to show you how you can install the free plugin so you go to plugin add new and here WooShark eBay you will find the plugin here, you just click on install now and then that will be fine. So meanwhile I have installed this plugin, the premium version, which is very similar to this version. So what you see here is the home page of the plugin. It's very easy. This first tab is for importing products. On the previous video we have seen how we can import product by SKU or by URL. You can still import one product at a time using the search section so you can search for product for example let's say uh, samsung or like i don't know xiaomi for example and then you'll have a list of products here so you can import one product by clicking this button here and you will see the model that we have seen already last video so for this time i will show you how you can bulk import so once you have searched for this product, you can specify some criteria like price from 100 to 150, free shipping, and I search the products. And then I see all the products that have price between 100 and 150. So you can import all products by clicking this button here. So by clicking this button, it will load all the products on this page and it will add them to the waiting list. We will see the waiting list in a while. You see here there is 20 products on the waiting list. You can import them or you can go to another page, for example, and click on import all product on this page. What this will do, it will add all these product details here to the waiting list. We have 40. Imagine now you don't want to import all the product on this page. What you can do is just you click on the add waiting list, add waiting list, Add waiting list, you see the count is increasing. Add waiting list, add waiting list, add waiting list. And then until you build all your waiting list. Once you have done, you click on the import waiting list and boop, that's done. I will show you this, but with lower number of products because otherwise this video will take a very long time. So I will search for the same search keyword with 100, 150, click search. Wait for the result and I will import all the products from this page and then some other products from the second page. I can go already to the second page and then click on this one and this one here. So we have 22 products. What will happen right now? I click here and I see the loading spinner. So this will start loading and we will see some notification that will appear on this section here success notification or maybe error notification for example if the error if the product SKU exists already it will throw an error or if you have any issue with some details you will see the error here so you can understand what's happening for the moment we have all successful and this is normally what happened like in most of the case you can see that products are getting are getting imported one by one once they are imported we will check the list of products but meanwhile I will try to explain to you some other points on the plugin. The second tab here 
is for displaying all the products that are imported already. So we will see them later once they are imported. This configuration here is for defining your configuration. So before starting configure like importing products in bulk, you can define some configuration. Here there is the section for bulk import configuration. You can apply price formula. So by clicking this, the price formula will be applied. So for example, I have already defined one price formula. I will have a specific video for this topic, but I will try to go fast here. So for all products that have a price between zero and 100,000, I will apply an increase of 30% of the original price. And I will add three dollar as extra fee. So for all product following this interval, we will apply this formula here. We can add more intervals, like as many as we want, but for now I will keep it only 30%. If you want to import product specification, you enable this one. If you want to import product description, you enable this one. If you want to import the product directly to your shop without setting it to draft, you click this one. If you want it to have it as a draft to add some more modification, you can uncheck this. Same for featured product, if you want to enable featured product, you click on this and that's what you have done already before. Here there are a list of categories that we will use to insert the product to. So we will see right now the products and we will see that they get inserted to the game category, choose category and uncategorized category. For future release we will add the tags here, so you will, you will be able to create your tags and you will be able to set your tags to where like which tags you want to add to this product so normally the import operation is done so if i click again here it will refresh and you will see we have 22 products that are imported like one missing product maybe it was an error or something like that so we have all the details the image so you can see the original product url from here to 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 compare the the product with, with the so don't, don't worry about this, it's because of some installed uh, extensions. So this is the original product URL from here. You can update the product from here by clicking this one. You can insert some reviews. So here the product has been updated. You can update all the product on this page by clicking this button here. It will give you the time, estimated times, two minutes, the number of product to, to update. No formula because we did not save. There is the updates update product con conf configuration so you will need to enable this thing and save your configuration and we can see that the product are getting updated one by one you can also enable automatic update this is very interesting like this will run in the background using a crown job you will not have to do anything you just enable some features, some options here, and it will work. This is available for on the premium plugin only, so you will not be able to use it on the free version. And there are a lot of other uh, configurations that I will create one video for the configuration, how to set the configuration, and how to create price markup formula, and how to set up the auto update, and all that stuff there. By this, you are to the end of this video so thank you very much for your attention don't forget to subscribe to our channel to like the video and see you next video bye bye